स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स सो आई एम नेहा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज झालावाड़ सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एचिंग प्रोसेस एंड वी डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट योर वेट एचिंग एंड देन टूडेज क्लास वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट योर ड्राई एचिंग सो बेसिकली बिफोर गोइंग टू ड्राई एचिंग लेट मी डिस्कस यू द problems that we face with wet etching so wet etching is generally used for large pattern sizes generally uh, larger than 2 micrometers then we go for wet etching process it is an isotropic process that means it is in like in all directions slow sloped side walls rather than straight walls kind of structure we get uh, with this wet etching and wet etch has to be combined with subsequent rinse and dry step this increases the chances of defects or contamination of course because we are handling uh, like very strong chemicals so contamination problem can be there if it is not rinsed and dried properly so and uh, of course if uh, we are uh, handling these chemicals they are actually hazardous in nature as you talk about hydrofluoric acid very strong acids we are using here nitric acid hno3 so they are very hazardous and uh, so safe disposal of these chemicals after the etching process has been completed so such sort of safety issues are one of the problem and undercutting and resist peel off can happen if time is not controlled or etch condition change during the process like if temperature changes the temperature is like very low or very high then undercutting and resist peel can happen resist peel means when uh, very strong uh, very strong etchant solution you have taken and it has uh, removed excessively removed your uh, 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 the layer and along with that your resist has also removed so we discussed this resist peel in our previous lecture so now dry etching so in dry etching basically three types we are using like reactive ion etching plasma etching and ion beam milling so in this dry etching basically the etchants are in gaseous phase so etchant gases are the primary medium for the removal of your material so there is no chemical like literally liquid chemical uh, is not there in dry etching process so first we'll be going to discuss about your plasma etching before moving on to plasma etching let's discuss what is a plasma so plasma is fourth state of matter like after solid liquid and gases we have fourth one as plasma so when how does we can form plasma so when your third state like gas if you keep on heating your gas so like i can say uh, you have a solid and you start heating solid it will convert to liquid or when you start heating more this liquid you will get gas and then also gas ko bhi agar hum log bahut high temperature provide karte jayenge then kya honge uske andar jo molecules hai it will break up molecules toot ke ions mein convert ho jayenge to aapko positive aur negative ions mil jayenge wo free free ho jayenge aur jo free ions us gases एनवायरमेंट uh, में जो रहेंगी उसको हम बोल रहे हैं प्लाज्मा स्टेट सो बेसिकली इट इज़ एन आयोनाइज गैस द गैस विद हैविंग आयंस सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इट कैन कंडक्ट योर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जस्ट बिकॉज इट हैज़ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन इट तो वो इजीली मूव करेंगे इट कैन इट कैन कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड कैन इवन प्रोड्यूस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बिकॉज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड मूविंग इलेक्ट्रॉन से क्रिएट होता है और उसके अंदर हमारे पास पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव आयंस मिल रहे हैं हमको सो इजीली इट कैन कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड योर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ठीक है अब इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओनली गैस वी नो इट्स अ बैड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी तो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन योर प्लाज्मा एंड योर गैस आई होप दिस थिंग इज क्लियर दैट मीन्स हीट गैस एट वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर और एट वेरी हाई पोटेंशियल देन यू विल गेट प्लाज्मा ओके so coming on to plasma etching so in plasma etching the chemical etchant is introduced in the gas phase and for uh, for example i have given here for uh, silicon oxide cf4 tetrafluoromethane is used and this gas is 
first uh, evacuated the chamber is first evacuated before introducing the gas so that no contamination and no other particle has been there उसको फुल फुल्ली इवैक्यूएट करा जाता है उसके बाद सी एफ फोर जो हमारी एक्चुअल में एजेंट गैस है उसको हम लोग इंट्रोड्यूस कराएंगे एंड आर एफ फ्रिक्वेंसी इलेक्ट्रोड्स आर यूज टू जनरेट द प्लाज्मा दैट आयोनाइज द गैस सो वेरी दीज इलेक्ट्रोड्स एक्चुअली विल प्रोवाइड अ वेरी हाई पोटेंशियल टू दिस गैस एंड इट विल ब्रेक इन टू पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव आयन्स एंड फाइनलाइज plasma uh, you know in plasma generation and recombination it is taking place uh, ek sath uh, hota rahega generation bhi hoga and recombination but after some time we get a stable plasma state where uh, when where you have all ions present in it to usko hum log stabilized plasma bolte hain uske baad hi uh, this etching process will start so okay so ionized gas attacks the oxide layer and it removes it so basically what is happening gases are transport transported to the wafer surface where they adsorb uh, to the surface and react with the wafer ma surface material at the step edges the gases then deabsorb from the surface and then it will be removed so these are the five steps given in this uh, diagram here the first one being the generation of your etchant species second one being the diffusion to the surface third one being the adsorption towards the surface the fourth one being the reaction and the fifth one being deposition deabsorption and diffusion into the bulk of gas gases which is basically the removal of your uh, undesired layer jo part humko nahi chahiye jo part basically humko etch karna hai uska final removing सो क्या इसमें हाई पेनिट्रेशन हो रहा है ये पेनिट्रेशन आ जाके जो हमारे प्लाज्मा स्टेट हैं प्लाज्मा जो आयंस है वो जाके उससे रिएक्ट कर रहे हैं एंड देन इट इज़ रिमूविंग द लेयर बेसिकली ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट दिस इज यू कैन सी द प्लाज्मा चैम्बर हेयर हेयर फ्रॉम वन एंड योर रिएक्टिव गैसेज हैज़ बिन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एंड यू कैन सी द आर एफ इलेक्ट्रोड्स आर इन पैरल सो आर एफ on uh, one side your uh, wafers are uh, placed and your r so after introdu introducing this reactive gas uh, this rf electrodes basically provide very high potential and convert it into plasma and then slowly it is coming and reacting with your wafer so this is the diagram of your uh, uh, planar plasma edge configuration uh, so the wafers are held on the ground chuck close to the rf electrodes and uh, reactive gas introduced in the chamber is ionized and the ions help in material removal so this is basically your uh, plasma etching next in tomorrow's lecture we are going to discuss about your ion beam milling and reactive ion etching basically reactive ion etching uh, is one of the very rie ri chamber that we say generally rie chamber so when you go to the you know manufacturing units there the the all these etchings are like in very very big chambers you can just operate it from outside like what's happening uh, through through like through commands you give like uh, when your wafers are to be introduced and how much potential you should give for plasma and everything is done in a very uh, closed and evacuated chamber you can just see it from outside and regulate through computer that's it so this is basic idea in the next lecture we'll be discussing about much of this thank you very much